años de como se tienen que trabajar de Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mr. Jimenez. Nancy, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. All right, just one sec. Hello, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Miss Carmen? You well, thank you. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> That's the attitude. That's the attitude. Yeah. And it's almost Friday, so we should be happy. <laughs> We're about to finish the second week, all right? So that's something to celebrate tomorrow. Okay. Let's see who we have. Now you can see, Miss Carmen, that it's no longer women power. We have Mr. Edwin, Mr. Uh, Jimenez. Only for a few minutes, teacher. Only for a few minutes, right? You're right. You're right. And we also have Mr. Antonio. You, you see it right now? It's okay. Men, men power, I would say, right? <laughs> Uh, we started because uh, I think Sonia was the first lady inside and after. After that, I think Anayansi and you joined. Anayansi, yes. Yes, correct. All right. Me, the, the third one and you the next one. So, next one, right. ladies I was, only, only. I was almost late, almost late. <laughs> I was just on time, all right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> right, Mr. Mr. Jimenez. Correct. Yes, it's correct. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see uh, when we finish yesterday. I mean, uh, the, the last thing that we did yesterday. Let's see. Okay. All right, I found this. Yeah, you're not going to get rid of this conversation so easily, right? No se van a librar de este ejercicio, ¿verdad? Que comenzamos ayer tan fácilmente. Just one second. Yes, this is the one. I remember that uh, the last activity was this conversation, but you only did the listening part, okay? So in this class, I would say right now with the people present right now, uh, you are going to practice in a breakout room, right? In a breakout room, right? And for that, I'm going to send you to the script, which is this one, all right? There you go. Okay. Let me send this to you right now, all right? So we can practice with this, okay? Just one second. All right, so I'm sending this to you as I'm speaking. Just one moment, just. Since sometimes my WhatsApp is too slow, so I'm sending the uh, access to the conversation in the uh, Zoom chat, all right? Just one moment, please. There you go. So open it up, please. And you're going to be able to see the same screen I'm seeing right now. All right. There you go. Let's do something. Uh, let me play the conversation for you and just listen to that one and try to keep up with the questions and the answers over here, please. Tratemos de mantener verdad el ritmo de la conversación. Vamos a reproducir el audio. 
just everyone listen up please be ready with your headsets or your ear earpods and everything all right because we're going to do this activity right now i have 13 participants so we can make like three or four groups of uh, three or four something like that all right so welcome aboard everyone mr eduardo mr caesar over here all right Miss Elizabeth and Mr. Oscar. All right, so welcome aboard. Uh, one second over here. Okay. Okay, so on the Canto 3, I'm playing this. Listen up, please, and then the, be ready to practice. All right? So one, two, three. front desk test speaking how can i help you yes i'd like to order room service okay what can i get for you well okay i'd like to order a grilled chicken sandwich okay some fries and a small salad okay what kind of dressing okay well i'll how about ranch but i'd like it on the side okay on the side anything else for you uh yeah how about a glass of orange juice okay large or small well, let's let's go with uh, a large. Okay. And what room are you in? I'm in I'm in let's see. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm in room 640. And your name? It's James. All right. And uh, oh yeah, how long will it take? Oh, it shouldn't be more than about 30 minutes. Okay. And okay. Well, what time is it now? 6:45. Okay. All right, thank you. Perfect. Okay. He says okay, okay like many times, right? <laughs> this is definitely a very good conversation it's practical it's real it's authentic all right so if we're going to start with this so we can start this class with the right foot para comenzar con el pie derecho o no sé with your left foot pero con su pie izquierdo now listen up please i'm going to uh practice the uh woman's and man's part for you Voy a practicar las dos partes solamente para modelar la conversación, eh, más o menos. And then I, I will also cl clarify some eh, meaning, all right? También les voy a uh, compartir algún significado, ¿verdad? Si usted lo necesita. So the woman states, hello, this is the front desk test speaking. How can I help you? Yes, I like to order room service. You know, pay attention to this, right? Pay attention to this. It's a contraction form of would, right? I would like to order room service. Quisiera ordenar, verdad, servicio, verdad, cuarto. I think that's how you say it in Spanish, okay? And then we have, okay, what can I get for you? What can I get for you, verdad? Que le puedo conseguir, verdad? Okay, o en que le puedo ayudar, o que le llevo. Well, Okay, I like to order a grilled chicken sandwich. Okay, when you have this in parentheses, it means that the other speaker says something. Bueno, cuando usted lo tiene así, verdad, en estos símbolos, significa que el, el otro, uh, la otra persona en la conversación, verdad, dice algo. Some fries and a small salad. All right, papas fritas. En realidad no tiene que decir French fries. All right. Puede decir fries, just like that. Okay. Okay, what kind of dressing? ¿Qué tipo de aderezo? Dressing, all right? Okay, well, I'll... Um, aquí él ya se iba a decidir a pedir algo, ¿verdad? He was about to say, okay, I'll like, or I'll have, okay, or I'll take, ¿verdad? How about ranch? But I like it on the side, ¿verdad? Entonces lo tiene que poner a un lado, ¿verdad? O al lado. O sea, no, que no lo ponga on the, uh, the salad, right? Or on the chicken, there, right? O sea, que no, le, que no le revuelvan el aderezo, ¿verdad? Con la demás comida. Okay? Or with the fries or with the small salad. Okay. On the side, anything else for you? When you offer your help or your service... You say anything else for you, ¿verdad? Otra cosa más? ¿Alguna, alguna otra cosa más? Okay. Oh, yeah. How about a glass of orange juice? All right. 
¿Qué tal? Eh, un vaso de, de jugo de naranja, ¿verdad? Este qué tal, ¿verdad? O qué le parece, ¿verdad? No es el qué tal de hello, how are you? No, this is like, ¿qué le parece, verdad? ¿Algo más? Ok, large or small? Pequeño o grande. Well, let's, uh, let's go with a large, all right? Ok, what room are you in, verdad? ¿En qué cuarto está usted? ¿Cuál es su habitación? I mean, uh, I mean, let's see. Um, ok, estoy en... Estoy en, you know, he's doubting, ¿verdad? Él prácticamente está dudando de esto. Over here, you see? Let's see. Well, um, I can remember. Oh, yeah, I'm in room 640, ¿verdad? No me acuerdo. Estoy en tal room, ¿verdad? En tal habitación, over there. And your name? Ah, it's James. All right. Um, and how long will it take, ¿verdad? Él le pregunta cuánto tiempo va a llevar o va a tardar que le lleven la comida. Okay, how long? Cuánto tiempo? How long? Okay. Oh, it shouldn't be more than more than about 30 minutes, ¿verdad? No debería tardar más de tanto tiempo. Okay, and um, okay, well, what time is it now? So he asks for the time. Okay. It's uh, 6.45. All right, thank you. Perfect. That's it. So this is the conversation that you're going to practice in a second. All right, let's see how many participants I have over here. Okay. The first activity will be this conversation. I already shared with you the uh, conversation in the chat, in both chats, in WhatsApp, and also in the uh, Zoom chat. Welcome everyone. Yes, hydrating, Miss Portillo, hydrating, you know, water. <laughs> All right. La agua entre todo, verdad? It's been, it's been very hot, right? Estado bien caliente. One second. So I will send you to a breakout room right now so we can practice the conversation about the hotel room service. Lo voy a enviar al breakout room para que practiquemos la conversación, verdad, de, del servicio al, a la habitación. Okay? From the hotel. All right? So just one second. Come over here. One moment. Let's see. All right, so go ahead, please, and join the uh, groups, please. Thank you. Miss Portillo, Miss Claudia, hello. Hello, teacher. Hola. Hola. Hello. Ay, mi micrófono no, no se activa. Ahí está, pero I'm, I'm listening to you already. Ya la escuchamos. Hello. ¿Qué, ¿Qué vamos a hacer, teacher? La conversation, ¿verdad? Del hotel. Uh... Hoy sí. La conversación, pero ahorita les pongo el aviso, ¿verdad? Por acá. Practice the uh, conversation about the, the hotel room service. All right. I sent to you the uh, access to the conversation. Okay. Es el enlace que está en WhatsApp. Sí. Ok. That one, please. Vale, yo ya lo tengo. All right. Thank you so much. Lo puede compartir, Claudia. No puedo, yo lo veo en el celular. Igual yo. Bueno, leámoslo en el celular entonces. Vaya, así. Okay. ¿Quién empieza? Voy a empezar. 
Ah, ya. Ahí se mira. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, sí. Sí, ahí está. Okay. Solo quítale el link. Ah, se me fue. Vaya. Go. Vamos, pues. Vamos uno, uno y uno. Va. Vaya. Así para, para no perder. Vaya. Comienza entonces. Ok. Hello. This is the front desk. Test. Speeding. How can I help you? Con Eduardo. Yes, I like to order, to order room service. Okay, what can I get for you? Well, okay, I like to order a grilled chicken sandwich. Le toca a don Eduardo. Ok. <laughs> no, es que no terminó. No, no. Ok, what kind of dressing? Um, ok. Well, well, I how how allow ranch. Okay. Mr. Luis. Hello. Mr. Luis, lo andan así, ¿verdad? De un lado para otro. Sí, no, es que estoy incorporándome, teacher. No yeah. pude venir Luis. más temprano. Pero está bien, está bien. All right. No hay problema, ahorita voy a abrir el vídeo. Sí. That's okay, all right, Mr. Nelson. Thank you. Perdón, compañeros. Okay, no problem. Teacher. Mr. Nelson, all right. Yeah, try okay. to practice. Don't... Yeah, thank you. Okay. ¿Dónde nos quedamos, Erwin? Eh, eh, después de Let's Go with a Large. Ah, ok. ¿En qué room are you in? I in, I in, let's see, well, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. I'm in room 40. Yes. It is 6.45. All right, thank you. Perfect. Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. All right. Hello, Ms. Carmen. Don't worry about it. Uh, if, <laughs> if I'm not in the, in the room, uh, you can share the screen, all right? Okay. Yeah, because it only gets recorded when I'm in the room, all right? Ah, okay, in the breakout room, no. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> okay, okay. Because I don't know what's going on in the in the rooms if I don't get in. All right. <laughs> okay. 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 Right. Don't worry about it. Está well, bien. So, so right. see if you want you want to be your the woman. Yo soy la mujer otra vez. Ah no, Flor, Flor sería. Flor, okay. No, Flor, okay. sorry, okay. sorry. No, that's okay. Okay, Flor. Hello, this is the front desk. This is speaking, how I can help you? Yes, I like to order from service. Okay, what can what can get a, get for you? Okay, I like to order a grilled chicken sandwich, some fries and a small salad. Okay, what can I dress you? Okay, well, I had about ranch. But I like it on the side. Mm -hmm. Okay, on the side. Anything else for you? Mm, yeah, how about that? It's James. All right. And, oh, oh yeah, how oh, long will it take? Oh, it should be more than about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and okay, well, what time is now? Mm -hmm. It's uh, 6.45. All right, thank you. Perfect. All right, perfect, yes. <laughs> hey, Mr. Tony, <laughs> finalmente no, se deja verba. No, qué bárbaro, Tisha. Solo ayer no estuvo. Bueno, no, ni se deja verba, pero ahí está. 
Gracias, Tizer. Gracias, gracias. Aquí siempre el pie del cañón, Tizer. Sí, aquí tenemos los tocayos, bro. Se llama los tocayos. Tony, Tony, right? Ah, yeah. Tony. Yeah, the Tony is over there, all right? Two okay. Iron Man. Nice. <laughs> Two Iron Man, yes. Two Iron Man, so here, right? Two Iron Man. Uh, no sé, quiero ver. Baje un poquito la pantalla, Mr. César. No se está compartiendo usted. Right. Scroll down, sir. Bye. La última expresión que alcancé a escuchar, ¿verdad? It shouldn't be more than 30 minutes. It shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't, shouldn't, be. shouldn't, be. shouldn't be. No debería be. ser, ¿verdad? O tardarse about... más, ¿verdad? It shouldn't be more than 30 minutes. Over there. 30 minutes. Cuando usted dice, uh, how can I help you? Or el can se une con el I. How can I? Can I? How can I help you? ¿Verdad? Okay. Igual, igual cuando preguntan, dice cuánto tiempo va a tardar antes del shouldn't be, ¿verdad? How long will it take? Will it take? Como que fuera Willy, ¿verdad? Liberen a Willy. How long, long will it take? take? All right. Ok. How long eh, will it take? Will it take? Es parte del idioma, ¿verdad? Unir eso, ¿verdad? Como cuando él dice, eh, cuando está en el cuarto, eh, en la habitación, dice, I'm in, I'm in room 640. I'm in, I'm in, uh, I'm in, uh, I'm in uh, let's see, well, uh, I can't remember. Yeah, I'm in room 640. I mean, right? Cuando usted yeah, le dice, I mean, vas a participar de algo, usted dice, yeah, I mean, estoy dentro, ¿verdad? Cuénteme, I mean. Ok. okay. 640 sería, profe. Lo que pasa es que ellos, ellos deciden cómo decirlo. Ellos le puede decir 640, pero ellos lo dicen 640, ¿verdad? 640. Okay. Ah, ok. Lo hacen Ajá, porque, porque son araganes. 640. Son araganes, por eso. Entonces, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm serious over here. You see. Okay. I think everybody finished up to this point, right? I think. Yes. Right? See, yeah, uh, yes. Yeah. I'm just going to give you, let's see, like one or two minutes because I need to enter the last group. All right. Okay. Okay. Just one sec. Okay. Thank you. Um, I am, let's see, what I can remember. Oh, yeah. I am room. Um, sí. Sit 40. And your name? It's Jane. All right. And ooh, oh, yeah. How long will it take? Oh, it should be, it shouldn't be more than about 30 minutes. Okay, and okay, well, that time is this now. It's 6.45. All right, thank you. Perfect. Hello. Great. Hello. Yeah, Miss Elizabeth, Elizabeth, no había visto, su, no bueno, había escuchado su audio, pero no se preocupe, si gusta, que... All right, so welcome everyone. Let's see, now I need your help, okay? I need your help. So can I have two volunteers? <laughs> I'm very predictable. So Miss Susana Hernandez, you're gonna be the woman, all right? Of course. <laughs> hey, Mr. Antonio, uh, you actually raised your hand, but let's see, because I have two Tonys over here. So yeah, I think it was, El más malilla, ¿verdad? ¿Qué dice? Lo siento, no soy yo entonces. <laughs> I think it was you, sir. <laughs> All right, here we go, please. So, um, Miss Susana, you're going to be the clerk. And then, the, um, Mr. Tony, you will be the uh, customer, okay, or the guest. If you don't mind, please, you may start. Go ahead, please. Okay. Hello. This is the front desk. Desk speaking. How can I help you? Yes, I like to order from service. Okay. What can I get for you? Well, okay. I like to order a great chicken sandwich. Okay. Some fries and a, a small salad. Okay. What kind of dressing? Okay. We like. How about ranch? But I like in other side. 
-hmm. Okay, on the side. Anything else for you? Oh, yeah. How about a glass of orange juice? Okay, large or small? We let's, let's go with a large. Okay, and what room are you in? I am in, in, let's see, Will, I can't remember. Oh yeah, I am in room 6040. Mm -hmm. And your name? It's Jane. All right. And well, yeah, how lunch will I take? Oh, I take? it should be more than about 30 minutes. Okay, I'm okay. Will, what time is it now? It is 6.45. All right, thank you. Perfect. Yeah, that was perfect, by the way. In this conversation, you are going to learn how to say okay. <laughs> As you can see there, right? It has how many okays? Um, it says okay, okay, three, three, okay, 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 okay. That's why we teachers or English teachers, we say all the time, okay and all right. <laughs> yes, because it's a filler, right? It's a filler, es una muletilla. Like in Spanish, you know, we have also fillers in English, you know, like fill, a filler, right? Muletilla, in there. Y ya ahorita casi se me salía el okay. <laughs> ¿Hay alguna excepción para usar el okay? I mean, we can say um, all right, sure, understood, eh, no problem. But, okay. but, as, but, but as I said, Miss Susana, okay, it's a filler. So it just, you just say it without actually thinking about it. Lo decimos sin pensar. Okay. <laughs> But let's try to use all right, okay, no problem, sure, or solamente. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's up to it's you. Now. Yeah, you decide. Sure. Yeah. All right. Understood, no problem. So let's try to use those ones. Or perfect, right? Perfect. Good. <laughs> those, those are like options, you know, good. I'm going to try, I'm going to try, me, right? I'm going to try it as well. Eh, I'm just going to mute your microphone, everyone. And I'm going to go over some pronunciations over here, right? Like we said in Spanish, un, poco, un par de galladitas. No de usted, verdad, mi Susana, sino que en general de los seis grupos que tenemos. <laughs> Gracias, teacher. No me sentí tan mal. For you, Mr. Tony. Okay. Right? okay well. <laughs> hey, teacher. Uh, fries. Fries. Uh, vamos a decir fries, no freeze, ¿verdad? porque eso es como free fire, ¿verdad? fries. Eh, yeah. How can I help you? El can, la N tiene que unirse al I. How can I? Can I? How can I help you? Igual que el P, help you. Eh, let's see, scroll down in here. Oh, okay, this one. It shouldn't be, shouldn't, 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 shouldn't be more than 30 minutes. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, this one. I'm in. I'm in. Imagine that somebody uh, tells you, hey, let's go eat pupusas tomorrow, right? Invitan a comer pupusas. You say, sure, I'm in. ¿Verdad? Tomame cuenta. I'm in. When you say yes, you want to be part of something, you say, I'm in. Soy parte de. I'm in. So, I'm in. In C. Even in English, people hesitate, as you can see here, right? People hesitate. Hasta en inglés, ¿verdad? La gente duda. Y eso es parte del idioma. Y esto se lo voy a decir en español. A veces cometemos el error de leer o hablar de corrido o, no sé, tratar de hablar rápido. Porque así escuchamos, ¿verdad? Que ellos hablan de esa forma. Pero no, el idioma usted tiene que aprenderlo. De, o sea, depende lo, de lo que usted está diciendo, ¿verdad? Así va a ser la entonación, va a estar enojado, contento, va a estar sorprendido, ¿verdad? Things like that. So it depends on, on the message that you want to give over there. As you can see here, in this part, let's see if I can find it. 
this phrase, esta, esta frase, ah, veamos, dice uno, déjeme ver, let's see or let me see, ¿verdad? Let me see, déjeme ver, or let's see, veamos, let's see or, or let me see. And over here, he goes, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, let's see, bueno, estoy, estoy, déjeme ver, veamos, It, I can't remember, como cuatro cosas dice, ¿verdad? Nunca dice nada. Oh, okay. Uh, it is a, yeah, okay, uh, it must be, I'm in room 640, in your name, James. All right, uh, uh, mire pues, aquí está, ¿verdad? Qué duda. Oh, yeah, este es el colmo, ¿verdad? I mean, this is too much. Okay and okay. <laughs> oh. So the second okay is, is too much, as you can see in there. Nice, I'm gonna stop sharing this screen. And let's continue with the rest of the class. So thank you so much for being in the class. And I'm going to give you some announcements right now because I think it's necessary. So here we go. Remember that for tomorrow, if you haven't done section two, unit two homework assignments about online orders and refunds, It would be great, sería quizás lo mejor, you know, for me and for you. This is just a suggestion, right? Solamente por pura sugerencia y por control, verdad, de, 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 de esto. That I need to mention this. So please try to complete this, let's see, tomorrow during the day or the latest Saturday morning because I need to update this present to the system, verdad? Entonces les pido, de favor, si pueden trabajarlo eh, ya sea hoy o mañana, bueno, mañana o el día sábado eh, tempranito, si se puede, ¿verdad? Usted sabe lo mejor. Eh, así actualizo notas lo más rápido posible. Oh, no. <laughs> no queremos. Yeah, we don't want to. Huelga, huelga. <laughs> huelga de hambre. Yes. No, mentira, de hambre no, de otra cosa, menos de hambre. Right. <laughs> Let's see here. So that's all I have to say in there. All right, that's all I have to say about this. Número nueve, le tengo número nueve. A mí me costó. Creo que es la única que le aparece en rojo. Yeah, you're right. The thing is that there's a mistake over here. So in here, it tells you, so write a question. But in reality, uh, Miss Elizabeth, you need to write a statement, ¿verdad? Según la indicación, es una pregunta, según esto, ¿verdad? Pero en realidad, según dijo Miss Portillo ayer, es una estructura de oración normal. I would buy... Um, pero a ver, he would like to buy, a I would like to buy, si es una pregunta, would you like to buy there again? Así es. Would he like to buy there? Sure, this is the case that I told, told I yesterday. was you, right? Was, was yes, you. yes, yeah, it sorry. wasn't, uh, it's not, wasn't a question. It's not, it's not a statement, right? It's a question, no. right? No, it's a statement, no, right? It's an affirmative statement. It's an yes. affirmative statement, correct. Thank you. He would lie. You're right. Yeah, I was I was saying the opposite. Thanks for thanks for the help. So he would like to buy again. You're right. Let me see. All right, I'm going to click on submit. Says, yes, correct. You mm -hmm. see, in here, you need to unscramble or put the words in order to write a sentence or a question. So, number three, it's an affirmative statement, it's not a question. La tres mm -hmm. es una oración afirmativa o, o, o enunciado. No mm -hmm. es estructura. And thank you so much, Miss Carmen, for the heads up over there. Thank you. That's it. Uh, let me stop sharing this. Let's go back to the presentation. There is something else that I need to remind you of. And this is one on one session. So uh, for this class, I have. Teacher, No, no, solamente como los tengo aquí entonces. Uh, but yes, we, we will continue, all right? We will continue. In a second. 
So, um, Miss Evelyn Patricia, is your turn uh, this this one on one session, and then tomorrow is Mr. Edwin. All right. So now let's continue with the class over here. As a review of the activities we did yesterday, we we will complete this using may or might. So in a second, I'll be granting you access to this exercise. All right. En un segundo, les voy a compartir el acceso a este ejercicio. Okay. Ahí está la muletilla otra vez. So just one moment, please. Um, one second, I'm sending this to you. You got it. I can see that you got it. So open it up. I stopped sharing that screen. I'm going to share the uh, screen from the exercise and here we go so it says read carefully and write the sentences with the word given in brackets escriba cuidadosamente las oraciones con la palabra que se le da en el paréntesis and you need to click with that one more time la muletilla okay <laughs> You need to click on that one. Es la palabra de la noche, ¿verdad? Um, so, perhaps I'll join a drama club. So, you just need to rewrite this. Perhaps means tal vez, quizá, quizás. Perhaps. Es la palabra, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, ¿Cómo le puedo decir? La palabra formal, ¿verdad? O la palabra rebuscada, que es, esa, esa creo que es la definición de quizás, ¿verdad? Pero usted puede decir, maybe I'll join a drama club. Oh, you, or you can say, perhaps I'll join a drama club. So, erase it. Vamos a borrar esto cuando la reescribamos y vamos a comenzar desde el sujeto, desde el pronombre. So, I my join a drama club. Period. And then Check solution. Correct. Of course, you may say. So all I'm saying, my friends, is that erase perhaps, and then just start writing from the pronoun. And before the verb, did you add might or may? So we do the second one over there. So I'm going to give you, let's see, two minutes for you to complete this. One second, please. If you study already, that's okay. Yo no me enojo si ya comenzaron, ¿verdad? Pero voy a darle el tiempo para que todos tengamos lo suficiente. So just one second over here. Here we go. Uh, we're going to write this. So two minutes. Start now. Please take advantage of them, please.
20 more seconds, please. Time is up. Teacher. Yes. Good evening. Yo todavía voy manejando. Porque no me. No lo puedo hacer. Me metí a la página y todo, pero no lo logro. <laughs> I understand. No, be careful, all right? You, you may do it later. Don't worry about it. Miss Evelyn. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Gracias. But don't worry, I'm gonna be waiting for you at 10 p.m. ¿verdad? La voy a esperar a las 10. <laughs> Mala gente, ¿verdad? <laughs> Malo usted, ¿verdad? <laughs> Pero poquito. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, can somebody help me, please, with the, these statements? So we can move on with the rest of the class. Miss Miss Carmen, do you have your, you have your microphone? Yes. Yeah, thank you. So yes. Right. This the sequel uh -huh. may be may be better than the first film. All right, like that? Yes. All right. Here we go. Correct. Now, just one thing before we continue, Ms. Carmen, everybody else. If may and be were together with no space, it means maybe, may, maybe right? Tal vez, quizá. But in this case, it's maybe better. Podría ser, o puede ser. Okay. All right, next one. Um, the film might win the award. And win the award. So as you can see here, everyone, uh, we have two ways to say the same thing. Perhaps the film will win the award, the award, or the film might win the award. Next one, number four. There may be a sequel. There may be a sequel. Or perhaps there will be a sequel. Habrá? Una secuela, ¿verdad? Podría haber una secuela. Todo esto eso significa, mire, podría haber. Right? Podría haber aumento en la, en la, en la empresa, ¿verdad? No, that, that's not going to happen. Right? <laughs> yeah, you're going to get more, more work, right? Más trabajo. But, all right, but we understand. Eh, let's see. Check. Next question. Yes, sure, in, this, in uh -huh. this case, I wrote. Spy films uh -huh. with, with S, but it's wrong. Only spy film might become more popular than action film. I think it's a mistake from the website, so you don't have to worry yes. about it. Yeah. Okay. It happens just like our platform, you know, at Ingress Corporativo, sometimes there are, I would say, minor errors, right? Okay. Uh, because it should be uh, films. Film. Because you are comparing, you are comparing action films with spy films, right? Spy films, in plural. Yes. Right. Right. Spy film might be might might become more popular. All right. Let's see if I do it. Oh no, I cannot go back. Uh, next one and the last one, please. Our local cinema, my clothes. A local cinema, my class. So most but, likely, no, the... no, no, my, may, may close. Okay, yeah, may close. So in this case, it's a very likely, but I bastante probable, it's very likely that the cinema will close because we are using may. Maybe there's a 70% chance that the movie theater will close, right? There we go, check the solution. Perfect, perfect. And we're going to finish the quiz and you finish the task, well done. Nice, a clap, verdad, un aplauso. And then you have the happy face over there. Thank, thanks for your help, uh, Ms. Uh, Carmen. 
So let's continue. So you see, that's just a review, talking about what's gonna happen in the future with some possibility. If you say might, let's say like 40%, that something is going to happen. A may, 70%, that something uh, in the future uh, can happen, right? Let's see, let me find the presentation. What's next for you, my friends? Yes, another conversation. Uh, no, 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 that's the same one more. Explanation. <laughs> okay, it's an explanation that I need to give you right now. So you may grab a pencil or, or in your notebooks or just try to, you know, pay attention to what I'm going to be saying to you right now. So throughout this week, we, we covered modal verbs and we started with um, can, could, may, might, and now is the term for would, would, would. All right, those are modal verbs. Because they are not the uh, main verse, you use this ones to change the meaning of um, your message, right? Ocupamos estos verbos modales para cambiarle el sentido al mensaje que vamos a dar. So, would is a modal verb. Would is often used in conditional sentences with a clause beginning in this. I mean, this is not really necessary. What matters to us is that it's a modal verb and we use it for hypothetical or for fictional uh, examples or sentences. In la mayoría de los casos se ocupa para cuestiones hipotéticas. But we are going to check three different ways to use would. Pero por cuestiones, verdad, de, de práctica o practicidad, creo que se dice, no sé. We're going to review, o de conveniencia, we're going to review only three ways, tres formas de ocupar esto. That number one, used as a polite invitation or to offer. This is the one that you know or that you're familiar with. Esta es la forma en que usted conoce al would, ¿verdad? You know this already. You know that already. Me avisen si se escucha bien, por favor, porque no los, no los alcanzo a ver en, en, en mi pantalla. Oh, uh, everything okay? Sí, teacher, se escucha. Okay, thank you so much. So the first way to use is to as a polite invitation, ¿verdad? Usted invita o ofrece algo, ¿verdad? O su ayuda o su servicio de forma cortés o educada. For example, would you like to go to the movies with me tonight? Repeat after me, please. Say that after me, please. Would you like to go to the movies with me tonight? And you say, no, thanks. <laughs> And the next one, would you like some more tea? Yes, please. Thank you. Would you like some more coffee? Please. I would be happy to help you with preparation for your exam. ¿Verdad? Me estaría encantado de ayudarle en la preparación o con la preparación de su examen. I would be happy to help you with preparation for your exam. Now, I continue reading, right? Sigo leyendo. When, so, when someone asks a question to invite you or offer you something using would, the response can be yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. Or you can also say something else, ¿verdad? Usualmente usted responde con la misma estructura o usted responde con otra estructura o solamente, ¿verdad? Lo dejen visto. Okay, you don't really pay attention, my brother. So you decide, my friends. For example, if I, if I ask you, Would you like to have a coffee with me? Right? Quisiera tener un cafecito. Usted dice, mm, no, no, no me conviene. So would you like to have a coffee with me? You say, yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Or no, thanks. I don't have time. You know, you make excuse. ¿verdad? Hacemos una excusa or would you say, no, I mean, I don't have the time. So this is the first way to use would, you know, for invitation or to offer something. ¿verdad? El primer uso. Creo que es el más común o el más triado. Invita a algo, ¿verdad? Con would. Now, number two. Describe a prediction, hypothetical situation. This is new for you. And pay attention to that one, please. So keep an eye on this one, ¿verdad? Pongámosle, ¿verdad? Echémosle un ojo a esta estructura. 
and, and we're going to try not to get confused. Vamos a tratar, verdad, de no confundirnos un poco. Describe a prediction or hypothetical situation, verdad? Usted está haciendo una predicción o algo, una situación hipotética. For example, it would be nice to have a barbecue, right? It would be nice to have a barbecue. Es algo hipotético, verdad? Usted dice, sería genial o estaría bueno. No me enojaría. Estoy haciendo como las traducciones, verdad? Las interpretaciones. It would be nice to have a barbecue. Sería genial, genial, perdón, verdad? Tener una barbacoa. It would be nice to have a day off, okay, during the week, right? It would be nice. La traducción, si usted le pone would antes de cualquier verbo, la terminación del verbo es como ia, ¿verdad? Sería, estaría. All right? Nobody would believe me if I told them I have seen a UFO. Nadie me creería, es caso hipotético, digamos que usted dice, nadie me cree o nadie me quiere, ¿verdad? Nobody, nobody loves me, right? Nobody loves me, but God, ¿verdad? Nadie me quiere. <ríe> Como una canción por ahí, ¿verdad? Uh, so, nobody loves me, nadie me quiere, pero caso hipotético, ¿verdad? Nadie, nadie te quisiera. Nobody would love you, right? Nadie te quisiera. Ok. So, nobody would believe me if I told them I have seen a UFO. ¿Verdad? Un ovni. Nadie me creería si les dijera que he visto un objeto volador no identificado. Right? UFO. Unidentified flying object in there. It's hypothetical, right? It's hypothetical. Okay? And the last uh, way to use wood is... To not sound impolite when dis disagreeing with someone. La tercera, verdad, esto está relacionado con el, la primera, el primer uso. These two are related because of number one. Porque en el primero, you ask, you know, you invite or you offer. And on the, on the, on the third one, you say no, right? So take a look. I'm sorry, I would like to point out that you need to review those numbers. Quisiera hablar con usted, ¿verdad? Le llama a su supervisor y lo sientan, ¿verdad? O no sientan, ¿verdad? Quisiera hablar con usted. I would like to talk to you, right? Okay, I would like to. I would like to point out that you need to review those numbers, ¿verdad? Yo quisiera, ¿verdad? Recalcar o quisiera señalar, point out, que necesita revisar los, los números, no cuadran, ¿verdad? And the last one, I wouldn't agree with that. If somebody tells you at your uh, uh, job, hey, uh, in a presentation, right? This is it, right? Le dicen una presentación, estos son los números, these are the numbers, these are the projections, or these are the reports, or the orders. Estas son las órdenes, ¿verdad? No sé, lo que usted ha hecho, ¿verdad? O, or the, a budget, una licitación o algo. Usted dice, no, I wouldn't agree with that, ¿verdad? Yo no, no estaría de acuerdo, right? Le dicen, vamos a trabajar, no sé, el sábado en la tarde para reponer, no sé, van a hacer puente para el día del, del padre, ¿verdad? Uh, something like that, right? And then you say, no, I wouldn't agree with that, ¿verdad? Yo no estaría de acuerdo. Para ser polite, pero si usted, ¿verdad? Lo quiere decir de forma directa, no, I don't agree with that. Yo no estoy de acuerdo, right? Pero como caso hipotético no ha pasado, te dice, I wouldn't agree with that. Right? Entonces, si usted le antepone el would a un verbo, ya lo haría así, ¿verdad? Hipotético. Would. All right? Is that a question for me right now? I'm going to share the rules of this with you right now. ¿Hay alguna consulta eh, for me about this or not? Hold on, I'm sending this to you right now. Les estoy enviando eh, esta cuestión, ¿verdad? La explicación que acaba de hacer. One second, please. There you go. But I will continue with uh, some other explanation over here because I want to make sure that you understand this uh, well. And in that way, you're going to be able to practice. 
Entonces, el señor menos que quedado claro, vamos a ver. What I have over here. Would. Sí. Yes. I will continue with some more examples uh, with this model verb, would. And then I'm going to ask you to practice, please. Vamos a continuar con una explicación de otra fuente que tengo por acá. O de otro autor. O otro material. O otro material, vamos a ver. Eh, here we go. Take a look at this. Hasta con, con dibujito, ¿verdad? We have, we use wood, wooden, when we imagine a situation or an action. We think of something that is not real, ¿verdad? Cuando nos hacemos... Eh, ponemos, no sé, a pensar cosas que no son reales, ¿verdad? Cosas, cuestiones imaginarias. Imagine a situation. For example, it would be nice to buy a new car, but we can afford it. ¿Verdad? Estaría, no sé, me gustaría, o estaría bueno, o estaría genial, dice la gente, comprarme un carro, pero no lo puedo pagar. We can afford it, right? Next one, I love to live by the sea. Me, me encantaría, ¿verdad? Vivir cerca del mar, you know, just like a Nancy over there. <laughs> right? So I love to live by the sea. Me encantaría, me gustaría. All right? Shall I tell Chris what happened? No sé, ¿le digo no le digo qué pasó? No, I wouldn't say anything. Yo no le diría nada, ¿verdad? I wouldn't say anything. Le decimos, ¿verdad? No, I wouldn't say anything. Continue. Uh, I'm going to go with letter B over here. Take a look at letter B. So let's compare will and would like this. I'll stay a little longer. I got plenty of time, ¿verdad? Me quedaré, ¿verdad? Un poquito más. Tengo tiempo. This one, right? I've stay a little longer, but I really have to go now so I can stay longer. Igual que en español, pero te dice, me quedaría, ¿verdad? Más tiempo, pero me tengo que ir. I would stay. Me quedaría. Creo que hace este punto, ¿verdad? Creo, creo que ya se quedó claro. Si usted le pone would a cualquier verbo, ya se vuelve hipotético, ¿verdad? It's hypothetical uh, to this point. All right? It's hypothetical in there. I call Lisa. I have her number. Voy a llamar a Lisa. Tengo su número. I call Lisa, but I don't have her number, so I can call her, ¿verdad? Llamaría o le llamara a, a ella, pero no tengo su número. I can call her, obviamente no le puedo llamar, as you can see there, right? Um, we're going we're gonna to leave it until there. So let's try to practice over here. It's time to practice. I will send the second screenshot to you right now. Les envío la segunda captura de pantalla con esa explicación. Recuerde, si usted se puede quedar con la, el primer cuadrito que le mandé, or with the second one over there. So you decide. Just one moment, please. It's being sent in there. Now, one more time, please. Take a look at my screen. Uh, and then we take it further. Here we go. Take a look. Now, there's, there's this little quiz that I invite you to take. And this one, you're going to take it in a breaker room because we will also practice a, a conversation, all right? So I will send you to practice this in a breaker room. And once you finish, I'm going to take you uh, back to the main station. And then uh, we're going to introduce a conversation. And after that, I will send you back to a breaker room. Entonces, vamos a, a practicar dos veces en el breaker room, ¿verdad? Pero una vez. Eh, primero practicamos el, el quiz y luego la conversación, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a ir y regresar. Un momento, pues, let me send this to you. En un segundo les envío el acceso, ¿verdad? A este pequeño quiz que está por acá. Allow me just for a moment, please. All right, let me know, please, if you're able to access that. Okay, uh, I'm opening this. And if you share the screen, please 
uh, erase the uh, link, all right? One moment, please. I'm gonna share the screen right now. There you go. So this is the quiz that I just sh shared with you. So it only has 10 questions. Read the grammar explanation below if you want to, or just the options in there. So I'm opening the breaker rooms right now so you can practice as a group. Pero vamos a hacer, quizás individual, pero usted puede tomar turno, ¿verdad? Hacer turno, ¿verdad? Number one, me. Number two, somebody else. Number three, in, in that way. One second, please. I'm going to open the rooms in a second, right? If you like, you can start uh, taking the quiz and then you can compare with your class. Si gusta, puede comenzar a realizar el, el laboratorio y después solo vamos como comparando, ¿verdad? You can compare and contrast. One second, please. All right, so I'm opening the rooms right now. So join them, please. Take turns uh, with the quiz, please. Hagamos el quiz, verdad, de forma grupal uno a uno, por favor. Thank you. Exacto. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Hoy sí estamos completos, ¿verdad? Ay, qué <risa> Cuando me tardo de repente un par de segundos a, a mandarlos a los grupos, es porque estoy mano peluda poniéndolos a ustedes. Ah, en está grupo, buscando. Mire, y no buscando. nos puede dejar en automático. Y de repente, eh, como no son los mismos participantes que ingresan y tendría que dejar los otros automáticos también. Ah, bueno. ah. Pero un par de segundos, ¿verdad? Sí, pero está sí. bien que ya después recapacite. Así, ah, ¿verdad? Me acuerdo de la encuesta y se me pasa. Ah, es que no se sienta amenazado. Mira, que somos de los pocos. Ajá. Es verdad que somos de los... Creo, creo que nosotros tres... Y el, pero Eduardo, que no, que, como que no cuenta, pero, pero somos de lo que llamamos desde el principio. Sí, ustedes son los sobrevivientes, survivors. Porque Ana Yancy no estuvo con nosotros el pasado. Ajá, ajá. Ella siempre seguía, pero como no la pudieron inscribir, se, lo pusieron a otro grupo y luchó para venir aquí de regreso. Ajá. Bien persistente. Ah, wow. sí, bien persistente. No, eso, 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 la verdad que es. Es parte de su trabajo, pues, o sea, porque sí, sí, quiere sí. venirse para acá porque, o sea, es buen teacher, la verdad. Sí, sí. No, lo que le iba a decir sí, es no, que, pues no. como, como dice Saraí, eh, no, lo que le, sí le iba a decir, lo, como dice Saraí, se tenía que decir y se dijo. Y se dijo. El pollito, así. Ay, cabal. All right, so let's go ahead, please. All right, let's go ahead. Yo, yo eso ya la hice y puse to come. All right. Si gusta, vamos okay. para, para no regalársela mucho a, su, a sus amigos. Ah, vaya, pues. one, one and one, ¿verdad? Si gusta. All right. Bueno, yo ahorita, ah. ahorita yo estaba ingresando al link. Ah, okay, so let's, okay, say, okay. let's say that Miss Claudia, the one is for you, right? The first one is for okay. you. Okay. 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 Bye. Eh, va. Answer. Hello, teacher. I can I can I can hear the cricket. I can hear, hear the cricket. Cricket is is grillo. Es casi recibo la clase en la calle. 
Yeah, it's it's uh, uh yeah. ahorita me está yendo fatal. Uh, el wolf, ¿qué significa? What one? Wolf. wolf. Dice que el wolf en realidad no significa nada, solo pero el solito. Cuando se lo pone con, con un verbo, el verbo ya termina, agarra la terminación de iría, ¿verdad? Ia. Yo haría, trabajaría, comería, ah. viajaría. Algo hipotético. Uh -huh. En este caso, usted dice, would you like? Si quieras. quieras que. Eso es lo que me estoy confundiendo un poco. Ajá. Quisiera que es, would you like? Or to come? Come or to come? Ah, uh, would well. Miss Portillo, uh, you go one by one, right? So, for example, so, Anayasi, you do no, the first one, mm -hmm. and then Miss Portillo, you do number two, number three, uh, Miss uh, Anayasi, and then you continue that way. Le parece? Okay. Right, so Anayasi, you may start, please. So, for to come, come or to come? To come. Yes. Okay, so uh, Miss Portillo, in which sentence can you write would like? Uh, I I would like to work with animals in from in the future. Yes, in the future, you got it. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. So Anayansi, which sentence is not correct? Which is not correct. Uh -huh. I I would not like any more tea than you. I wouldn't like any more tea. Are you sure? I love some chocolate. I wouldn't like on I wouldn't like on a dog. Mm -hmm. I love some chocolate. No, that's not the correct one. So I yeah, wouldn't perdón, like perdón. Eh, quiere decir que two are correct, dos oraciones están correctas y una está mal. Una. Sí puede ser la A. Imagínate. O la C. La B o la C. I mean, yo creo que ya sé cuál es. I think I know. I think I know. Ah, para mí es la C. Mm. Any more tea. No, vale. cuando, sí. cuando usted dice no quisiera más té, esto está correcto porque solo está diciendo no quisiera más té. No está diciendo no quisiera tomar. Ah. Vale. Ok. Entonces right. es la primera. Yes. Uh -huh. Nice. Porque tiene que ser would like to. Would like ah. to no quisiera, ¿verdad? Tener un perrito. Ok. And the last one for you, porque me retiro a otro grupo. Which okay. question is okay. correct, Miss Portillo? Which question is correct? Do you would like a drink? Your brother would like a new car? Would you would your friends like to come to dinner too? Which one? Would your friends like to come to dinner too? Yes, ma'am. Correct. Nice. All right. I'll see you in, in two minutes. Okay? Okay. okay. Let's see. Hello, Miss Karina. Hello. Yeah, I I guess you finished already. Am I correct? <laughs> uh, no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Okay, because so you're still working in, uh, on the last one, Miss Sonia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna click on next one. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. That's that was number five. Number 10. I'm just gonna click this randomly, right? I'm just gonna click this randomly. So I'm not gonna read anything. The last one you said, right? Let's see. Nine. And the last one. So complete the sentence. This part of the city looks dangerous. I wouldn't like here when it's dark. I wouldn't 
Okay. I wouldn't like to come. Yes, because you need mm -hmm. this too. Correct. Nice. So uh, in, in two minutes, I'm going to close the breaker rooms. I just need to check one more breaker room. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, teacher. Ahora viene. Hello, hello. Hello. Visitas. Entonces, when would you like visitas? Tendría que ser. When, por qué, eh, no va. ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo? El esposo de you no va nunca antes, entonces debería de ser When would you like to visit us? When would you like to visit us? Correct. Yes. Uh, nice. All right. Está bien. Next. El otro dice In which sentence can you write that? Excelente. Sí. Uy, chica, ya rato hubiera sí, Excelente. Sí, ya, ya vino. Sí, Hello. el teacher la mandó hasta Hi, bien teacher. tarde, la mandó el teacher. Ajá, ajá. Perdón, no, teacher. No damos ni una. Sí, no, no, nos quedamos bastante así como que, ¿por qué era esa? Ah, but that's okay, that's the idea, you know, to debate about. Ok. Debatir, no. ¿verdad? Yes. Would you like to visit? Ok, complete esta oración, esta, esta pregunta, perdón. When do you like? When you would like? When would like? Would you like to visit us? Visit us. When do you like? Quizás la uno. Cuando? No. When? Cuando te gusta a visitarnos? Ah no. Cuando? Ajá. A visitarnos. When you you would like? Two. Cuando? Uh -huh. Two. When do you like? Do you like? When do you like? ¿Qué When piensa usted, Elizabeth? Ah, no, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, sí. ilumínenos. Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Estoy pensando. When you would like. Pregunté a la teacher, ¿qué piensa? Ajá. Es que la, la, la idea la tenemos porque es algo improbable. ¿no? No, ahí, ahí es una invitación. Eh, prácticamente. Cuando, sí, igual, es improbable Pero, también. ¿verdad? Es improbable, tiene razón, es hipotético. ¿Cuándo, ¿Cuándo nos visitarías? Entonces, en una oración normal, usted dice, I would visit you that fecha. Yo lo visitaría, ¿verdad? Pero ahí estoy preguntándole cuándo quisiera visitarnos, ¿verdad? Cuándo quisiera visitarnos. Entonces va a ser, when do you like? Would, no, when do would, you like? would. Ah, when. En preguntas, when, el would when, va like. antes del sujeto. Would. When would when you like? Would you like? Tres. To visit, correct. Oh, yes. Ok, ok. Nice. Ah, la chuchica. ¿Cuál es la oración? Claro, charro, que ya No, no, charro, que ya cayó. Charro, charro. Charro, churros y cigarros. Ya vino. Pues hablando. Yo no pensé que no lo quise. Pues vení. Ya, I know you finished already, but I was helping, I was helping some of your friends, you know, in the other rooms. All right? Sí. Tuve unas confusiones con algo. Como realmente pensé que estábamos hablando del Google y todo, me fui con unas respuestas así. Cuando oh, te decía la mejor respuesta, entonces sí, me saqué cinco. Ups. Right. Sí. Yo me saqué nueve, pero después de cuatro veces. Quiero aclarar. <risa> casi, casi me memoricé todo el quiz. Usted pensaba que era igual que la plataforma, ¿verdad? Que la hace varias sí. veces. Fisher <risa> tiene que avisar a ti. I know, I know. Let's see. Let's see. All right, let's see. Realmente sí sirve seguir haciendo los ejercicios porque si te quedas. Yes, quedamos. repeating the structure. Yes. Exactly, exactly. That's the idea. Hold on, let's see. All right, so welcome back, everyone. We're going to continue with with this exercise. Um, and in this opportunity, I'll be choosing ten uh, students. All right, ten participants. Voy a elegir verdad diez personas acá, verdad que me ayuden. So let me just one second.
Mr. Caesar, help me, please. Would you like to help me, sir? I le estoy pidiendo me decir no, no thanks. <laughs> Hello. With number one, please. La mm, comparte pantalla. Okay. La primera es, eh, would you like eh, to come to my house for dinner? Yes, correct. Because we need like to, we need to after like, correct. Yes. Thank you, sir. Miss Susana Portillo, please, or the Oranayansi, please. Okay, teacher. Um, okay. Um, I I would like playing tennis with my friends. Uh, would like play? Okay, B. You said right. This one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. But in reality, um, and I see when you use would you never add an ing to a verb so that's not correct okay okay so we have number one or number three or a or c three <laughs> okay. i would like to work with animals in the future correct mm -hmm. the first one it's incorrect because we don't have two aquí le hace falta el two y aquí ya lo tiene Right? He has it already. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me choose somebody else. Mr. Jimenez, Miguel, please. Mr. Tony Jimenez, help me with that one, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, Well, it's not correct. But yes. It's not correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would like a, oh, a dog. I wouldn't like a oh, dog. Yes, you're right, sir. And what's the mistake in there? So what's the error? What's the error in there? What is the error? I, what's the error? Um, Yo no quisiera. Yeah, I mean, say, you're right. A, uh, that's incorrect, but what's a, missing? What's missing? ¿Qué le hace falta? Missing. Uh -huh. What's missing? Two. Two. Yes, correct. The it's missing in two. two. Yes, it's missing the preposition yes. two. I wouldn't like to own a dog, ¿verdad? No quisiera ser propietario o tener un perrito. Thank you, sir. Okay. Now, number one and number two, or A and B are correct because on, on one we're saying, I wouldn't like any more tea. Aquí te estoy diciendo, no quisiera más té. All right. And it's okay. No hay ninguna acción, ¿verdad? No hay ningún verbo. Solo dice, ya no quiero más de esto. ¿Verdad? No quisiera más. Thank you. Next one. I love some chocolate cake, ¿verdad? Quisiera más chocolate. Aquí solo usted está diciendo, ¿verdad? Quisiera. I love. Me encantaría. ¿Verdad? Some more chocolate. O está pidiendo, pues, de una forma bonita, ¿verdad? Thank you, Mr. Jiménez. Uh, I'm choosing somebody else over here very quickly. And uh, Mr. Francisco, can you help us, please, sir? Or or Mr. Uh, Edwin, if you don't mind. Mr. Francisco or Mr. Edwin. Teacher. All right. Yes, sir. Number four, please. Will your like to come to diner too? Let's see. Which question is correct? Uh, which your yeah, this one. Would your friends like to come to dinner too? Yes. Yes. Yes, uh, the, let's see. B, it's incorrect because it's not really a question. Your brother would like a new car. Now, let me just tell you something, everyone. In real life, you can say A or B. So it's okay. 
En la vida real usted no necesita seguir tanta gramática, sino que la, el signo de interrogación le va, o la entonación, ¿verdad? Le va a dar la pauta. Your brother would like a new car, right? Su, a, su, su hermano quisiera un nuevo carro. Yes, you can say yes, right? Of course. Or if you want to be, uh, let's see, grammatically correct, o si quiere ser gramaticalmente correcto, va a decir, would your brother like a new car? Su, a su hermano le gustaría un nuevo carro. Bueno, ese es el punto, ¿verdad? Si usted quiere respetar la gramática, va a poner primero el verbo modal y luego el sujeto. Right? Si no, solo la entonación va a ser. So, you, you would uh, like to uh, go to sleep already, ¿verdad? Le digo yo ahorita, ¿verdad? Quisieran irse a descansar. Yo say, yes, please. <laughs> Me too. All right? And, but we, we have to continue here, right? Let's see. Uh, next student in here. Um, Miss Susana Hernandez, please. Thank you. Which is the best answer? Number one. Yes, please. Would you like a biscuit? Uh, yes, please. Yes. Because it's a biscuit. Yes. Teacher. Yes. In this case, we have the question because uh, we started uh, uh, the, the, the structure. Yes, I would. Mm -hmm. I'd. Why what? not the third or letter C? Because when you say, when you use a short, no, a short, <coughs> you use a short answer, you don't use contractions. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, because okay. it's impolite. It's impolite. You say, yes, I would, please. Yes, because no. yesterday we have the same quizzes, a, a little bit yes. the same. Similar. And the, the answer was, yes, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Another contraction. Yes. Thank you're you, right. teacher. But in that case, it was uh, another uh, another structure. Yeah, you can say, yes, please. No, thank you. Sure, no problem. You can say that, right? You can say that. Like the same case as, okay, right? Okay, all right, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the filler. So, so always the, the, the best answer was without contraction. contraction. Correct. Okay. Without contraction. That's right. Um, let's continue. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the first group in here. Miss Claudia, would you like to help me? Miss Claudia, yo no lo digo porque suena raro si leo eso. A ah, mentira. My husband, my husband likes bananas. Okay. He eats one every day. All right. So uh, he eats one every day. Uh, likes, you said? Likes. Okay. Fíjese que en este caso, en la vida real, les estaría bien. My husband likes bananas. He eats one every day. Uh, Y de hecho es la única. Would like when I get to would like uh, would like to eat maybe would like to eat bananas, right? Pero también quisiera, pero suena raro. ¿eh? O sea, no estoy hablando nada de sentido ni nada, sino que would like por la gramática. My husband would eat. Okay, let's see. Let's click on this one. Yeah, that's the correct one. But since this is just a grammar quiz and it's supposed to be tricky, verdad? Como es un examen de gramática corto y tiene que ser, verdad? Por definición, un poquito difícil. Tiene que leer el contexto, ¿verdad? He eats one every day. No es hipotético, sino que él, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Regla. Perdón, because he eats fruit. Él come fruta. All right? So, my husband eats bananas. He eats one every day. All right? Caso hipotético sería, my husband would like to eat fruit, like mangoes, bananas, or something like that. Because he is sick, ¿verdad? Quisiera, no sé, comer algo de fruta porque está enfermo, ¿verdad? So, that, thank you, uh, Miss Claudia, in that one. Let's continue over here. Next participant will be Miss um, Catherine or Miss Susana Portillo, if you're over here, please. Yeah, Miss Susana, please. Thank you. Uh, Complete this question. Like, did you like listening to classical music? 
All right. So would you like? Uh, listening... would you... Yeah, you're right. Uh -huh. I mean, I mean, which is, are you listening to classical music? Bye, aquí pasa algo. Aquí pasa, aquí pasa algo. Would you like listening to classical music? Y vamos a, vamos a decirles lo que pasa. Si es algo que está sucediendo en el momento con un presente continuo, like a present continuous, sería, are you listening to classical music? Yo creo que esa es la correcta. Por, vamos a ver qué está aquí. Uh, bye. Bye. Como es cuestión del examen, han puesto que la do you like listening to classical music es la correcta. Ok. Y aquí, bueno, aquí no me, no me percaté por esto. Si dice, pero en realidad el ejercicio tiene razón. Voy a poner solamente en, en modo por acá. Vale. Aquí me acaba de suceder algo, ¿verdad? No miré el like, por hacerlo rápido. Entonces me fui, como decimos allá en el pueblo, en la chicahuita. <risa> so that happens over there, right? So, cuando usted pregunta, ¿estás haciendo tal cosa? Va a decir usted, are you listening to classical music? El like está de más. ¿Verdad? Ya por eso la primera opción no se puede. El are. Now, el would. ¿Por qué no? Would you like. No se puede porque después del like tiene que ir to y el verbo en infinitivo. Sin ing. Remember that, please. Sería would you like to listen uh, to classical music. ¿Verdad? Quisiera escuchar classical music o un buen rock. You may say rock maybe, right? And the other one, do you like listening to classical music? Okay. Quis, uh, ¿Quiere escuchar música clásica? En este caso, si usted ocupa el do en presente y no está ofreciendo nada, el, el después de like, sí puede ocupar el listening. Si se fija, es bien confuso la cuestión de la gramática. All right? Pero lo único que tenemos que entender de este ejercicio es que si es presente, usted dice, are you listening to me? Me está escuchando. Are you listening to me? No lleva ningún otro verbo. ¿Verdad? Y si ocupa el would, va a decir, would you like to listen to me? ¿Quisiera escucharme? Would you like to listen to me? All right? O yo, le, o yo le puedo preguntar, ¿verdad? Le gusta escuchar reggaeton. Do you like listening to that music? Ok. So that's the difference over there. Pero no habernos confundido. Eh, the next one over here. Eh, miss, let's see. Uh, miss uh, Car Karina, please. Yeah, would you help us with that one, please? Um, Complete this question. When would you like to visit us? When would you like to visit A, B, or C? A. You're right. You're right. Okay, yeah. since this is an exam, it's a little bit tricky, ¿verdad? Entonces lo están poniendo difícil. Aquí solo es un juego de palabras, ¿verdad? So, when would you like to visit us? When you would like to visit us? Ok, aquí está al revés. Entonces, cuando usted hace una pregunta, primero el would y luego el sujeto. En esta, no es porque no está ofreciendo nada. When do you to visit? When do you like to visit? Fíjese que eh, en, la, en, en un caso real, si usted tiene confianza con la persona o en realidad usted está, está seguro de lo que va a pasar, le pueden decir, ¿cuándo nos, nos va a visitar? When do you like to visit us? ¿Cuándo ¿verdad? nos visitará? All right. Pero en el caso hipotético, ¿cuándo nos visitaría? When would you like to visit us? In there. All right. Thank you, uh, Miss Karina. Next one. Uh, Mr. Let's see. No, we're going to go. Yeah, Mr. Oscar over here. Hi. Yeah, nine, sir. Okay. In which sentence can you write like? Mm, I like a hamburger. Are you uh, sure? Please. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, it's actually letter A, sir. Um, Because when you say, me gustaría tal cosa, you need to add would. Tiene que ir el would, aunque sea contractado. Ok. Me gustaría tal cosa. Me gustaría un café. I would like a, a, a cup of coffee. All right. Y en este caso, porque aquí no está el would, 
y solo tiene que incluir el like por cuestiones del ejercicio. Ninguna de las opciones A, perdón, B y C son correctas. All right. That's why it says I really like scary, uh, uh, scary films. ¿Verdad? Sí me gustan las películas de miedo o de terror. Y aquí, si usted pone I like to study engineering when I finish school, usted está diciendo yo, bueno, a mí me gusta estudiar ingeniería. No está diciendo yo quisiera estudiar porque le hace falta el wood. No sé si me explico, Mr. Mr. Uh, Oscar. No, oh, it's clear. All right, so it's clear. All right, thank you, sir. So when you when you ask for for some food at a restaurant, you know, you ask for ice cream, you say, "I would like that one, please." Okay, I would like or I like that one. You need to add the the wood. The next one and the last one goes to. All right, desquitation, Mr. Tony, a broma. <laughs> Mr. Tony Cabrera. All right. Yes, sir. Complete the um, sentence. This part of the serial uh, and there is, I would like to come. Yes. You got it. Ah, cualquier parecido a donde yo vivo, verdad, pura coincidencia, así que. I'm just kidding over here, right? <laughs> this part of the city looks dangerous. Esta parte de la ciudad, verdad, parece peligrosa. I wouldn't like to come here when it's dark, verdad. No quisiera llegar cuando está oscuro o de noche. Okay. Soy a dónde? Soy a dónde? Di. Ajá. Uh -huh. Be careful. <laughs> Lamentable, but that's uh, that reality. So let's continue with this. There is going to be a conversation, so we can cheer up. Para animar los espíritus. Hay una conversación, verdad. Is there, is there a question for me right now? Um, everyone. Is there a question for me about this grammar? Maybe not, right? I think everything is clear up to this point. Yes. So I'm sending the... Uh, the next exercise to you, all right? One second, and at the same time, I'm going to share the screen. So, one more time, please. Si usted comparte pantalla y cuando yo entre a un break room, por favor, si también lo puede borrar eh, para que no salga en la grabación. Permítame un momento. I'm going to find this. There you go. So, I'm going to introduce this conversation right now to you. All right? Let me introduce this. Okay this and here we go the next listening is apparently about airline tickets airline tickets and it's about two men and the length is one minute and 11 seconds so the difficulty is or the level of difficulty is very difficult and hard so let's take a look at the pre-listening exercise aquí si le pido verdad su atención y que nos esmeremos un poquito porque no los quiero condicionar ni nada, ¿verdad? Pero al parecer este es un ejercicio un poquito más de detalles, que usted ponga atención y cuestiones así por el vocabulario, ¿verdad? Que se, se refiere a las airline tickets, porque es bien complicado el tema. Ok, so I'm going to read this and introduce the listening to you, my friends. Vamos a introducir, ¿verdad? La cuestión de listening. Y le suplico que usted se familiarice también con esto, ¿verdad? Entonces, porque yo también lo escuché y me quedé así como que... Mmm, sí, ¿verdad? Hay que ponerle cuidado. So, here we go. Eh, checking travel websites can be very helpful in planning trips. After you decide where to travel, do you talk to a travel agent about your vacation plans? Or do you make all of your plans online by yourself? Prácticamente lo que le está diciendo es que usted uh, cuando uh, planifica o, o piensa, ¿verdad? El hecho de voy a viajar o algo, ¿dónde va a viajar? Pues tiene, no sé, una agencia de viaje para planear su, su, su vacación o usted lo hace por, por su propia cuenta. We have experts over here, I guess, in the class, right? But I'm not going to mention the names over here, right? No names. 
we might have an expert over here, right, in this class. Um, so what is the man's destination? Vamos a hacerlo de forma quizás honesta, sincera, no vamos a darle clic ni nada, porque ustedes saben que esto nos va a dar la respuesta, ¿verdad? Si yo le doy clic. Por error, así como que, ups. <laughs> Sin querer, ¿verdad? Ups. <laughs> okay. Now, because I, I, I want you to have uh, the opportunity to take this, right? This is going to be like a challenge, like a real exam for some of you. So what is the man's destination? Helsinki, uh, Finland, Salt Lake City, USA, New York City, USA. Number two, when is the man's departure day? ¿Verdad? ¿Cuándo es el vuelo de salida? Okay. Departure day, the 22nd, the 23rd, or the 24th. Esta está refiriéndose a la fecha, el 24 de tal mes, o el 22, o el 23. Next one. What is the flight number? The, uh, what is the flight number for the second part of the trip? ¿Verdad? Va a ser como un viaje, un connection flight. Me, me imagino. ¿verdad? Va a ser escala. So it's uh, 555, 1070, or 90. Next one. How long is the man's layover between flights? Layover is el tiempo que tiene que esperar en su vuelo de conexión. If I'm not mistaken, that's the layover. The layover. All right. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Uh, less than three hours, less than an hour, less than two hours. Okay. Más de tres, menos de una, más de dos, o menos de dos. The, and the last one, the man asks for, ¿qué es lo que solicita? A aisle seat, ¿verdad? Pide el asiento que esté a la par, ¿verdad? De la, uh, del pasillo, creo que así es el pasillo. Que queda a la orilla, ¿verdad? El pasillo. Early check-in, ¿verdad? Es eh, decir, que haga el check-in temprano. Eh, o antes, o special meal, porque la, que le den trato pre, prefer, preferencial, ¿verdad? Con una comida especial. Ok. So, this is it. All right. And uh, I'm going to play it for you so everyone gets familiar with this. Don't take the quiz yet. The second time you play it individually. And please send the score to me. Escúchele, eh, perdón, escuche el, 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 el audio de. Yo lo voy a compartir, ¿verdad? Ahorita solo familiarícese con lo que se va a tratar de esto, ¿verdad? Trate de captar la idea, más o menos, cómo va por ahí. Y la segunda vez, usted lo escucha por su propia cuenta, por favor. Y si lo escucha dos veces eh, más, eh, no hay problema. Con tal que me mande el score, ¿verdad? Que usted lo hizo. All right? So here we go. One, two, and three. Freedom Travel, how may I help you? Yes, I'd like to make a flight reservation for the 23rd of this month. Okay, what is your destination? Well, I'm flying to Helsinki, Finland. Okay, let me check what flights are available. Okay. And when will you be returning? Uh, well, I'd like to catch a return flight on the 29th. Oh, and I'd like the cheapest flight available. Okay, let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah? Well, the price for the flight is almost double the price you would pay if you leave the day before. Ooh. Let's go with a cheaper flight. Uh, by the way, how much is it? It's only $980. All right. Well, let's go with that. Okay, that's flight 1070 from Salt Lake City to New York Kennedy Airport, transferring to flight 90 from Kennedy to Helsinki. And what are the departure and arrival times for each of those flights? It leaves Salt Lake City at 10 a.m., arriving in New York at 4.35 p.m., then transferring to Flight 90 at 5.55 p.m., and arriving in Helsinki at 8.30 a.m. the next day. All right, and uh, I'd like to request a vegetarian meal. Sure, no problem. And could I have your name, please? Okay. You see, it's very confusing, all right? I mean, we understand everything, but the information is confusing, all right? Because they mentioned departure time, uh, the layover, uh, the uh, special uh, request, and the departure time, and then uh, the number of the flight, everything in there, right? So everything in there. Um, what you can do, you can also pause it, all right? You can pause it when you think that you find the information, ¿verdad? Eh, también lo puede pausar cuando usted piense que ya encontró la información. Okay, so take this, please. I'm going to give you two minutes, all right? 
I'm going to give you two minutes right now. So let me share the screen right now. Check the options over there and the questions. Revise las preguntas y las opciones. So check it out first. Thank you. Here we go. All right, go ahead, please. Thank you. Teacher, no, lo, no, a mí no me, no me lo ha compartido. Teacher, it's, it's not in the WhatsApp. It didn't, it, didn't, it didn't go through, right? No se cargo. Let me just one sec. It's a joke. Uh, is that a joke? <laughs> Let's see. Recordemos que viene la encuesta. Ajá. Se manda. Decimos que en el sabor tenemos memoria a corto plazo. Quizás. Yo, yo, yo decía, yo decía. <laughs> There you go. All right. Hold on, it's loading. And let's see. Let me send it again. Hold on. Yeah, now you got it. Yes. Yes. Y ahora sí, como mala gente. Los yes, dos minutos, minutos are over. <laughs> oh, qué <geez. laughs> Go ahead, please. I'm sorry. You got two minutes right now. Thank you. Pero existe la justicia divina. <laughs> All right, so 10 seconds, all right? All right, so thank you, Ms. Carmen, and congratulations. Very good job, all right? Very, very good job. Okay. You might be an expert on this one, huh?
All right, so thank you, Mr. Jimenez. I got your answer already. Let's see. Bueno, perdón que los interrumpa, pero vamos a, para que alcancemos a practicar, ¿verdad? So let me send the script, all right? Voy a compartir el, el script. I mean, you know where to find it, right? But it's better to do that. La conversación en sí se las mando a, a Zoom, ¿verdad? Para que no nos interrumpamos la cuestión de cómo van a mandar las imágenes, ¿verdad? De sus core. Así no nos perdemos. Okay, so the uh, actual conversation of the listening is on Zoom. All right, it's on Zoom. La conversación está en Zoom, ¿verdad? La acaba, lo, lo acabo de enviar. All right, and, and then keep on sending the, uh, your scores, please. All right, in that, in that way, um, I know how much you got. Good. Good. And here. Miss Carmen, uh, can you help me please with the with the correct answers? Oh well, please. I'm gonna share the screen. All right. Please. Yes, teacher. All right, thank you. Just one second, please. Let me erase the uh the link in here. One moment. All right, so the first one, what is the man's destination? Helsinki, Finland. Finland, right? Okay, so he's gonna travel overseas. All right. It's gonna be a long trip, by the way. Next one. When is the man's departure date? The twenty second. The twenty second, right? One moment, please. Next one. What is the flight number for the second part of his trip? Ninety. Yes. It says that's flight 1070 from Salt Lake City to New York, the Kennedy Airport, you are correct, the JF Kennedy International Airport. Transferring to fly 90 from Kennedy to Helsinki in Finland. Okay, how long is the man's layover between flights? Less than two hours. Less than two hours. I mean, that's a good deal, all right? That's a good deal. And the man asked for? A uh, special meal. Special meal, yes. He asked like vegetarian, right? Yeah, correct. I think that was one of the easiest questions. Am I correct, Ms. Carmen? I think that was an easy question, yes? Yes, yes. Yeah, that was easy, right, when he asked, yeah, okay. Nice, that being said, now let's practice the conversation, but I'm gonna share it with you, all right? Let me share it with you, one second, please. This can be found uh, in the... Uh, Zoom chat, ¿verdad? La conversación en sí ya está el acceso, ¿verdad? En el chat de, de, uh, de Zoom. All right. One moment. Here we go. And I'm going to play this and just try to keep on the, uh, the, the reading, please, in the conversation. Tratemos de seguir, ¿verdad? El ritmo de la conversación over here. All right. One, two, three. Freedom Travel, how may I help you? Yes, I'd like to make a flight reservation for the 23rd of this month. Okay, what is your destination? Well, I'm flying to Helsinki, Finland. Okay, let me check what flights are available. Okay. And when will you be returning? Uh, well, I'd like to catch a return flight on the 29th. Oh, and I'd like the cheapest flight available. Okay, let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah? Well, the price for the flight is almost double the price you would pay if you leave the day before. Ooh. Let's go with the cheaper flight. Uh, by the way, how much is it? It's only $980. All right. Well, let's go with that. Okay, that's flight 1070 from Salt Lake City to New York Kennedy Airport, transferring to flight 90 from Kennedy to Helsinki. And what are the departure and arrival times for each of those flights? It leaves Salt Lake City at 10 a.m., Arriving in New York at 4.35 p.m., then transferring to Flight 90 at 5.55 p.m., and arriving in Helsinki at 8.30 a.m. the next day. All right, and uh, I'd like to request a vegetarian meal. Sure, no problem. And could I have your name, please? Okay. That was quick, right? That was very quick. Okay. 
It says the travel agent, uh, the uh, plane from Salt Lake City leaves at 10 a.m., arriving at New in New York at 4.35 p.m., then trans transferring to flight 90 at 5.55 p.m., all right? Yes, it's less than two hours, the waiting time in there, as you can see, the delay all over. So he's gonna be flying like almost 24 hours, right? Like 22 hours, something like that, right? In between the two flights and the layover. Is there any questions about any pronunciation details in this conversation, All right? Alguna consulta de pronunciación in this one? Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, in the conversation, I, I think you say uh, 23rd, but, I, ah. but the answer is 22. Yeah, the thing is that the, the question is, is, is this, all right? El quiere is el 23rd, but this flight is too expensive. So that's why the agent suggests, hey, sir, if you go the, the day uh, before, it's going to be cheaper, all right? That's why. O sea, que si se va el 23, va a pagar más. Entonces, él le sugiere que se vaya el 22. Okay. Okay. Yeah. O sea, le sugiere que se vaya un día antes, quizás. O sea, porque correct. 22 nunca le dice exactamente sí, 22. Porque... Exactamente, exactamente. Le sugiere, le dice, well, the price for the flight is almost double the price you would pay if you leave the day before. Él le pidió, ¿verdad? Hey, uh, um, uh, help me please make a, a flight reservation for the 23rd of this month. Y le revisa, ¿verdad? He checks the prices and everything, and then he, he says, hey, sir, the price for the flight on the 23rd, all right, uh, from explicita, uh, is almost double the price you will pay if you leave the day before. So if you leave on the 22nd, you're going to pay half of the price. Okay. So I assume that the, that the flight on the 23rd will be like almost $2,000, right? Like $1,800. Sumo que quizás vale más de mil dólares, menos mil ochocientos, ¿verdad? Si es como la mitad, pero el doble, perdón, de esto. All right. That's why this listening, Mr. Jimenez, it's considered a little bit difficult because the information, it's not explicit, you know, it's implied, ¿verdad? La información, ¿verdad? No está, no está ahí clara, no está explícita, sino que está eh, como, usted tiene que ponerle cuidado, ¿verdad? Los detallitos por ahí. All right. All right. Yes. Okay. Any other uh, uh, question that you may have? Okay, so if there are no questions, I'm gonna send you to the breaker room to practice for five minutes and then we're going to come back and say goodbye, please. Okay. Thank you. There we go. Señor Jesús. <risa> Teacher, ya así hablando en serio. Ajá. Así como, char como charada. Dígame. Ahí estamos. <risa> ah, ok. Pero <risa> somos, vea, que no dijo nada. Estaba a punto de hacer la venta, Teacher. Ya, ya ah, no puedo. Qué lástima, qué lástima. <risa> Se me cayó. ¿eh? Yes. So, Miss Carmen, you work for Taka, right? <risa> Yes. Are you familiar <laughs> with, with this procedure, you know, uh, making uh, flight reservations? It's another area because normally it's in, in the downtown. It's not normally uh, the, 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 the salt of, of ticket in the airport, at the airport. Right. Yeah, I know someone who works for Ex Expedia and what uh, she does is make, uh, making uh, flight reservations or hotel reservations every single day. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We have some office, but uh, another kind of uh, the soul is about is through the outsourcing. Uh, an outsource, correct, correct. Yes. yes. All right. So it's not through the airline, it's through an outsource. Yes, I see you are finding there. All right. Yes. So you may practice over here, please. Thank you. 
can you see the the screen yes no not yet now yeah we can i'll be back ya regreso mr tony uh -huh. okay i'll be back a ti se no hay que hacer así <laughs> No sé cómo se dice eso. Available. 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 Okay. Como okay. Disponible. Available. Available. Uh, available. Justo a tiempo. And will we. And when will you be return. 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 Um, está return. return. Sí, sí. Return. Está. Return. Oh, uh, uh, well, I do like to catch a room fly on the 29th. Oh, and I like cheapest fly av available. Available, available. Avail cheapest, available. The cheapest, 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 el más cheapest. barato, el más cómodo. Cheapest, cheapest. como chepe. Como, como chepe. chepe. chepe, chepe. chepe. Ay, chepe. la chepe. canción de, 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 de aquel famoso, chepe, 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 chepe. Chepe, chepe. Ay, no. ¿Sí? <risa> Mr. Chip. Un hijo malo, dice. Ajá. All right. Ok, okay. okay. let, let me see. see. Mm -hmm. um, ¿Algo así? Yeah. Ya. Yeah. <risa> Qué suertudo. Ay, sí, porque <risa> siempre me tocan las más largas a mí. <risa> bueno. A ver, resulta. The price for the fly is almost doubly. Doubly? Double. Double. Uh, double. double. The double. price your work pay if you leave the day, the day before. The day before, yeah. Yes, I like to make a flick reservation for the 23rd of this month. Okay, what is your destination? Well, I'm flying to Helsinki, Thailand. Okay, let me check what flying are available and where will you be returning? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I would like to catch a return flight on the 29th of and this light it should fly a view of you. On the cheapest. On the on the chip fly available 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 available, available. disponible okay okay let me see oh let's go with the shipper fly by the way how much is it it's only 980 80. Mm -hmm. all right well right the ship is Available. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the price for the flight almost doubles the price. Would you like pay if you leave the day before? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, mm. let's go with the chip, the cheaper flight. By the way, how much it? Well, yeah. the price to the price is almost double the price. What you pay if you leave the day before? Flight ninety. <laughs> from <laughs> from Kennedy and Hel and Silski. And what are the depart departure and arrival? times for each of two flights it's level talk it's level talk lake city at 10 a.m arriving in new york at 4 <clears throat> 35 p.m then transferring to flight night at 5 55 p.m mm -hmm. and arriving and arriving and health health Helsinki mm -hmm. at 8 uh, 20 a.m. to next day. The next day. All right. And oh, I did like to request a vegetarian meal. Sure, it's no problem. And cold, I have your name, please. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. yeah, they're doing the process, all the process without asking the name, right? So you don't do that. <laughs> all right, so welcome back everyone. It was a productive conversation and we were able to put everything in practice about would, can, and made in the model verse. So I like that conversation at all because it's very practical. La verdad que está bastante buena esa conversación, un poquito confusa, pero es práctica. All right, that's the way it is. All right. Se me, se me lengua la traba. Yes, sir. I see that. So time is up. Hope to see you tomorrow on Friday with more practice on this one. And let's see, Miss Evelyn is around. Otherwise, I'm going to be wearing. So have a good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Okay. Night. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Yes, sir. One moment, please. Yes, sir. Aunque oh. fíjese que. Eh, sí. Bueno. Mi Evelyn creo que no, no está disponible, así que si gusta, se queda un par de minutos para, para aprovechar. Ah, chévere. O si, o si está preciso, no, no sé. Ah, la verdad, la cama ahí la estoy dejando ahorita, no problema. Ah, va, va, está bien. <risa> va, eh, es eh, con problemas con la plataforma. Ah, vaya. Eh, no puede accesar o qué, perdón. No, como no. Sí, puedo accesar. Algún ejercicio, el... no le sale. Al contrario. Bueno, es que me salió en uno, pero en el examen no. Ah, no sé okay. por qué. Ya hizo el famoso midterm. Correct. All right, let's take a look then. All right, vamos a ver si me carga este volado. Ella no quiere dormir. Ah, mentira. <risa> Ahí está. Eh, vamos a ver. Dígame. Ajá. Sí, no entiendo por qué acá prácticamente the copy page ah sí está correcto dice I would change this product ah lo que pasa es que le hace falta el like I would like to change I would like to change como esta cosa sí sí le hace falta una palabra I would like to después del would le hace falta el like y después dale para atrás en el mismo ahí ahí cabal I would like to change ahí, ah, así, ya. Pero... La ¿Le doy enviar? Dele enviar. No importa, acuérdese que lo puede hacer en repetidas ocasiones. Ah, Ahí le sale si bueno. Le si le enseñara el historial. <ríe> Vaya, el siguiente dice, we wouldn't... Ahí también es lo mismo, we wouldn't like to stay. Acuérdese que cuando usted dice, me gustaría o no me gustaría, va a decir, I would like. Mando los lentes. Yes. Y vaya, cuando usted dice, yo no sé, quiero, com quiero, um, no sé, comer algo, usted dice, I would like to eat something, ¿verdad? Pero caso hipotético, usted dice, yo ir iría a la playa, ¿verdad? Si no estuviera trabajando, ¿verdad? I would go, eso es otra cosa. Solo le pone el would para hacerlo hipotético, ¿verdad? Ok. Which, which is something else. We wouldn't like to stay uh, in, the, in this place, in this place. Ahí está. Dele, enviar por favor. Ya me lo tiró error. Le tiró error. Eh, we, let's see, we wouldn't like to stay in this place. Bien raro, fíjese, porque en el lado sí, sí la tiene correctamente. Verdad, y eh, ahora sí, lo, pero si sí lo doy a enviar. Eh. Dele, vamos a ver. Let's check it out. We wouldn't like... Hagamos algo, copiamos el wooden literal como está ahí, si es que se puede. Por favor. Y borremos el que usted tiene ahí. A veces eso es, fíjense, no sé por qué lo marca. Dele, peguémoslo. Tratemos ahora por... No. No. All right, so I'm going to try it in my end, right? Vamos, voy, voy a abrir la plataforma, ya estaba cargando ya. Eh, a ver qué pasa. Dicen, diga, diga, ah, diga, yes. Uh, que no, ponga las ver. pilas ahí con el, con el Inter. Ah, <risa> oh, era broma, molestándolo estaba hacia aquí a cargo. <risa> como ya después de las 10, pues, como ya es, es, es extra. Ah, sí, ya está todo libre. Literal, va, es extra. ¿Qué ejercicio es el, el del, del mix Perdón. A ver, part 2, part 3. Part 4. 
Ah, es de Lachman, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Cabal, ¿verdad? La última cascarita le ponen, ¿verdad? Siempre ahí como right. por, Ah, pero, pero este no es el mixture, ¿verdad? Es, es solamente la unidad 2 la que está haciendo, ¿verdad? Mixture, part 4. Mixture, part 4. Right. Hold on. Vamos a ver su pantalla aquí. Midterm part 4. Right. Section 2, midterm part 4. Right. Sí, tiene razón. Y hasta ahora ya no quiere. ¿va? <risa> ya ya aparece un mapache. Ahí está, ya. Ah, pues sí. Ok, entonces el ejercicio es el 2, ¿verdad? Yes. So it's number two. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. Okay. Sí, o sea, así como usted lo está poniendo, está correcto. Fíjese, le digo, no sé por qué, pero lo voy a compartir ¿va? para que usted. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Vea, dejo, vamos dejo de compartir. Vamos a ver. Sí. Yo answer. Ahí está. We wouldn't like to stay in this place where we wouldn't like to stay in this place. <ríe> vale, a mí me da la opción de ver, de ver la respuesta, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, ajá. ajá. Sinceramente, a mí no me gusta ver la respuesta porque también, ¿verdad? Hay que quebrarse la cabeza porque a ver lo que ustedes pasan. Uh -huh. Dice, we wouldn't like to stay in this place. Mira, está correcto. Haga algo, quítale el punto. No vaya a ser esta gente de que son. El puntito es ahora sí. Vamos a escribirlo así como me dice aquí. We wouldn't. Y vamos a copiarlo literalmente como está acá. Solo falta que ellos se hayan equ equivocado. En la el cuestión. punto es. El punto es. Sí. Imagínense. Pinche puntito. Nada que ver. ¿va? Y sabe que la plataforma le dice que de las dos formas se lo tiene que aceptar. Mire aquí sin punto y aquí con punto. Vaya yo lo tenía con punto y no me sí, lo sacó. Es mentira solo se puede sin punto. Solo sin punto, ajá. ¿eh? Exacto. Y yo que me estaba quebrando la cabeza. Sí, sí, sí. Por eso le digo, lo, la, es la cuestión, no es, no es que uno no sepa, sino el hecho que el, el ejercicio está hecho, está redactado de una forma mal, errónea. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, ¿verdad? vamos a enviar. Tendría que tener todo el, el porcentaje, ¿verdad? Sí, hoy oh, sí. Ahí está. Sí, de hecho, no es por nada, pero los ejercicios que de repente yo les busco en clase son como hasta más, así como mi aquí va. Más la aplicables. Vez. ¿No uh -huh. cree usted? Sí, la verdad. Ajá. Pues sí, porque de eso se trata, ¿verdad? Porque uno se da, se da penca eh, así, ¿verdad? En el día a día. La plataforma usted, hay, o le pueden ayudar, o consulta algo, eh, o usted la hace, ¿verdad? Entonces. Ahí es, lo único malo que yo veo Ajá. Es el hecho de que ahí ese punto sí que puede ser un gran problema. Bueno, no sé de los otros compañeros cómo van a salir a ver si les va a dar problema a eso. Sí, y de hecho había una relacionada con, con Wood, pero en la tarea 4. Bueno, no, en la 7 creo que era, no me acuerdo, en la séptima. La Así que ya, ya sé. Ajá, ya ah. sé y en clase les voy a recordar, ¿verdad? Mire, hágalo sin el punto. Ya. Ajá, sí, porque... Ajá. Por lo menos ahí, ahí yo siento que con eso sí hay un poco de problema porque eh, tal vez uno puede tener la idea de, de, de cómo está. Voy a poner el ejemplo, no diga que yo sea así, pero suponiendo que yo haya entendido bien todo el proceso, pero ese punto me va a hacer dudar. Va a eso sí ya, va a ser, sí ya va a ser como que un problema eso. Sí, se va a frustrar, se va a frustrar, la verdad. Y ya en esta, esta sería la segunda ocasión que me pasa esto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Fíjense que la plataforma, lamentablemente, así se lo digo, estas galladitas <risa> son comunes. ¿Verdad? Entonces, yo... Perdón, entonces yo lo que le sugiero, digamos, así como a ustedes que están en esto, ¿verdad? Que son como los, nosotros, somos los de a pie, uh -huh. es, vaya, pruebe los signos de puntuación, pruebe la cuestión esa de las comillas o apóstrofes, todo eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, y lo, lo, lo que hacemos es copiarlo y péguelo, así usted ya descarta que no es la correcta, o que usted la hace, ¿verdad? O es la correcta, y los signos de puntuación, todo eso, ¿verdad? O las mayúsculas, 
hay que descartar uh -huh. eso y también las cuestiones de los espacios. Si usted ya hizo todo eso, ¿verdad? Los puntos, las comillas, la, la mayúscula, los espacios, es porque el ejercicio está incorrecto. <risa> ahí sí, ya ni modo, ya salió ah, ni modo. Entonces, como esto es bien burocrático y son, son un montón de grupos y todo, yo doy aviso siempre y los profesores tenemos un, un grupo de WhatsApp y de repente denos cuál es, ¿verdad? Y ellos van a hacerlo, pero no es que lo van a hacer mañana y tal vez ni la semana ni mañana, sino que hasta el lunes, ¿verdad? Entonces. Y es como que se pasó el tiempo. Se pasó el tiempo y usted ya se frustró y al final como que, ah, pues es, así que se vaya, lo típico. Sí, pues sí. Ajá. Ya quedó como, ya queda como mala esa Y parte. el porcentaje disminuye ah, ah, disminuye el efecto exactamente así que en eso bye, bye Mr. Tony do you have any questions about what we're studying right now no sé algo más acerca que usted me dice mire eh, no sé cuestiones de pronunciación verdad sí no pronuncias bueno por lo menos ahorita sí ya estamos ya estamos viendo unas palabritas que ya sí ya, uh -huh. ya me está Le, costando un poco eso eso le iba a sugerir a, a usted eh, que si usted está viendo algunas palabras eh, no sé cómo usted organiza ¿verdad? la cuestión de las palabras nuevas porque son un montón, ¿verdad? Yo creo que hay que priorizar hay que priorizar el significado y más que todo la pronunciación, ¿verdad? y el uso de las palabras no sé si usted tiene un cuadernito tiene su método de estilo anotando o hacer planas para, para que se nos vaya quedando ¿verdad? Las, las palabras, yo sé que tiempo no hay obviamente ¿verdad? pero es el, es el esfuerzo y el sacrificio que usted, usted hace, ¿verdad? y sus compañeros ¿verdad? Correcto. Regularmente cuando son ese tipo de, de frases, para estar como más cómodo, regularmente siempre prefiero mejor ya hasta en la tarde-noche, que ya estoy en la casa, bueno, cuando he venido temprano no he tenido que ir a hacer algo más. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ahí eh, abro los enlaces y ahí me pongo a estar eh, como pronunciándolo. Un amigo me decía, intentar con un, ponerte un bolígrafo en la boca, me decía, con eso está intentando, luego hacerlo sin. Para que te ayude con, con, con el, con el habla. Uh -huh. Sí, es que uno tiene que desarrollar los otros músculos, ¿verdad? Ah, pareciera broma, pero es cierto. De la cuestión de eso del inglés. Uh -huh. y Entonces. Sí que escriba, eh, busque la palabra, aprende ese significado, cómo se deletrea y todo eso. Eso le va a ayudar mucho. Pero las prácticas son más que todo, ¿verdad? Entonces. Ok. All right. Perfecto. So, We have to go to sleep right now. It's 10 for team already, sir. Hope to see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Tony. See you tomorrow, Mr. Tony.